I finally pass the PMPT. This is an AD pen testing exam with no flags to capture. You have to prepare a professionally written report with all of your findings and you have to present a debrief to a mock client, which is one of TCM staff. Your goal is to get from the outside of the environment all the way into the domain and control the domain controller and own everything. This was my second attempt. Now, my first attempt was about a year ago um, and looking at my calendar, it was roughly a year ago from this video. Um, I want to make this video to share my thoughts, my exam experience, some tips on how to pass and how I passed, things I wish I'd known the first time, and also whether you should do it. So let's get into it. My thoughts about the course content and the course exam. The content is actually really great for beginners. When I first took it, I'd, I'd freshly come off doing the EJPT, having learned a lot of basic networking stuff, a lot of basic exploitation and all of that, went into TCM security course and it was really awesome. I just come out of the EJPT and I was able to learn about building my own Active Directory lab. There's really great support from Discord and all the staff if you have any questions. There are other students as well who answer questions and you learn a really solid methodology for pen testing. Now this course is quite comprehensive for the actual exam. Everything you need to know is there. You don't really need to deviate or go outside of the course content to really get everything you need. Now the core of the PMPT is the Practical Ethical Hacker, the External Pen Testing Playbook and the OSINT course. Those three kind of form a pillar, like three pillars of the whole thing. You have the Windows Privilege Escalation and the Linux Privilege Escalation, but they're not so central. They're definitely really helpful add-ons. Uh, especially if you want to go on to understand more about pen testing or if you want to get more competitive with Hack the Box or Try Hack Me and solve challenges by yourself, you will need to have that prevest knowledge. Um, but in terms of the actual course content and pen testing and the exam, those three, Practical Ethical Hacker, External Pen Test Playbook and OSINT were really great courses. Um, really comprehensive on the topic and the subject matter and really prepare you for the exam really well. The course and the exam both really emphasize the pen testing aspect of doing a pen test. Now that sounds a little bit silly to say it like that, but what I'm trying to say is it's not so much a CTF. It's not about finding a CVE, exploiting it, using a script online, and then just, you know, escalating privileges to root, and there you've owned the box and you've got your, your root flag, and then you've passed the exam. It's not like that. The point of the exam is to perform a thorough penetration test to gather all the findings, all of the so-called vulnerabilities that go throughout the environment, things that this mock company may have exposed on the internet that you used, and present those to a client in a professional written report. That is what you're going to be doing in a pen test job. And that is what I do in my job. Um, and so this exam really prepares you for that. If you've never had that experience, it's a really good way to kind of gauge where you feel you need to work, uh, work on and, and that kind of thing. And it's a really good way to test whether you even want to do this as a career. Um, you get to do the actual pen test, which is definitely the fun part. And then you get to write a report and present to a client. And those things are different components of the same job. The emphasis of the course and the exam is about delivering value to a client, not just about getting root or a flag. And that's the strength of the TCM PMPT. You're not really looking to be able to do all the awesome hacks. You want to deliver value to your client. Moving on to my experience, I had previously failed for several reasons. I had a really bad methodology. Um, I focused too much on passing and I was really stressed out. For me, the PMPT in 2023 represented kind of a culmination of a year of, of really intense study 
where I'd kind of neglected most of the rest of my life. Um, and so it was a really big deal for me uh, to not pass that exam. But looking back on it, I realized there was a few things that I wasn't ready for. I didn't have a good methodology and that was like central to it. Um, I was really stressed about it. I had put way too much stock on passing this exam uh, and I focused too much on passing and not enough on actual pen testing. Uh, but a year on, I have had quite a bit more experience in pen testing. Granted, I've only done one internal pen test, but most of the other pen tests have been, well, all the other pen tests have been web or API based. And that's made me more confident. I've had week long engagements. I've had to manage my time, learn how to build a methodology out and how to be thorough and not to be like freaking out and needing to, you know, get all the, get all the vulns. Uh, as quickly as possible. So I was able to be a bit more detached and focused on pen testing rather than passing, which ended up really well for me. I ended up compromising the entire domain within about 12 hours of actual hacking, hands-on keyboard time. Um, and I was stuck at a couple of places, um, but that was a really good time for me. Now, without going into detail, the exam is realistic. This exam compares to the pen tests I've been on and the things that I've seen in my SOC role. You will see all of the things that Heath emphasizes throughout the course. So really pay attention to the things that he keeps reiterating and saying over and over again. And it's not about fancy exploits, but it's about testing a methodology and being thorough in your pen testing ability. And at the end of the day, this was a great opportunity for me to practice a fairly realistic exam that wasn't too hard but it was challenging, made me think, tested my methodology, made me take steps back to be able to actually complete the exam and compromise the domain. It also tested my ability to write a report, uh, which took me, I think about two days um, to sit down and write it, proof it, get it all done and, and out the door. Um, and that was really good. Now, I wanna share some tips that can help you pass. These things are things that I either implemented this time or I'd wish I'd implemented and thought about a lot earlier, but some of these things came to me as I was doing the exam. The first thing I wanna say is establish a methodology. Pay attention to the sections that Heath talks about what he would do on a pen test. He does it a lot throughout the videos. Sometimes it may be for like 10 seconds, he says, you know, this is something that I would do. I would be looking at this. Pay attention to those things because those little details will help you kind of get in the right mindset and take notes of those things so that when you are sitting there in the exam or if you go to a pen test, you can go, okay, I have this, this, and this. What can I do with that? What would, what would Heath do? What would Heath do in that moment? There are also case studies that are throughout the courses Take note of those, write down, come back to it when you need to, and make sure you're covering your methodology really well. Really have that set in stone before you go into the exam because it will help you succeed. Next, please go and know what you're being tested on. So go to the certification website for TCM security and have a look at what the blurb says. In there, we'll have the information of the things that you're tested on. Make sure you know those things. Make sure that you understand the dot points that are covered there about Active Directory, about OSINT, about external penetration tests, about writing a report, um, and about presenting to a client. All of those things are super important, and those things are the things that they're testing you on. So make sure you understand that, and then make sure that when you hit that exam button to start, that you read those rules of engagement. That is like your scriptures in that moment. You need to really pour over them for like 20 minutes, really understand them, read it a couple of times, make sure you understand what they expect of you. Make sure you understand what they require in your report. Make sure you understand what you are allowed to attack and what you aren't allowed to attack. Go through all of that. Really understand it because that will give you success in the exam. Make sure you take a note of some of the tips that they give you in the, uh, in the rules of engagement. 
because even there, there are some like gold nuggets that will help you to pass. The next thing is actually enumerate. When you've thought you've enumerated you enough, you probably haven't. I know I didn't. And it doesn't mean that there are things hidden in like stupid places or ridiculous places, but make sure you do your due diligence. Run tools in verbose mode. Make sure you understand what your tools are supposed to be outputting. If they can output more, make sure you put it out there. Make sure that you understand that there are a couple of tools that can run the same attacks, run the same scans. Use them. Use several tools just to make sure you don't miss anything because you may miss something. I had an issue with NetExec during my exam that it just didn't work. I don't know what happened the week before. I tested everything, made sure it was all set up. My environment was ready to go. Exam day comes, Net NetExec just fell over. Tried to reinstall, tried to uninstall, tried to install in different ways, still didn't work. Had to end up using a different VM with crack Mac map exec and that worked eventually but it wasn't you know fully functional didn't have all the features that i needed and it was a little bit a bit harder um so make sure that you have your tools in order as well the next thing is to make sure you take breaks you have five days seriously relax it is not that big of a deal you have plenty of time in fact you have more time than a normal pen test to do this and you can complete this in in a short amount of time so relax take breaks when you get stuck for more than 45 minutes just walk away go for a run play with your kid play with a dog do something that distracts you because your mind needs that your mind needs to step away and just kind of rethink everything and then when you come back you'll have fresh eyes and a fresh brain you'll be able to tackle the, the problem that's in front of you. Next, you should get to know your tools. Play with the tools that you're learning in your lab. Run the man. <laughs> Open up the man pages and have a look at what your tools can do. Check at the, the different little flags. There are different options there. There are different kind of commands, especially with a tool like NetExec, crack, map, crack, NetExec and crack map exec. It's a freaking Swiss army knife. Look at the different modules, see what there is, because there'll be stuff in there that you may have not used in the course, but will help you in the exam. Have a look at what the output looks like. Have a look at all the different things. Get to know your tools. Um, and as I said before, make sure they work in your VM. Make sure everything is, in sort is sorted um before you go into the exam you should also make some logical notes don't just make notes okay because everyone says you need to make notes make extensive notes no 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 no. organize those notes before the exam be logical about it have a game plan you need to be asking yourself the questions how are you going to take notes how are you going to organize them when will you take screenshots what's important information what are you going to be looking for all of that stuff where are you going to store creds? Like all of that is going to go into your report and your notes is like the draft version of your report. So you want to make sure that that is nice, logical, neat. It will help you with your methodology. It will help you have a direction on where you're going. Make sure that those notes are logical and neat and organized for you. Do it before the exam so you've thought it through so that you're not sweating in the exam about your notes you don't want to be sweating about your, your your notes you want to be sweating about getting domain admin and establishing persistence that's what you want to be worrying about and finally you should go through the course again i don't mean outside of the exam i mean you have five days when you get stuck you can go through the relevant section the course is there on your computer open it up make sure you've tried everything nothing that you need will be outside of that course. Nothing. The best reference when you're really stuck and you cannot move is the courses. Go back, have a look, make sure you've paid attention. You have five days. Like the PEH is only 25 hours, I think. I think it's even shorter now that it's go back through the AD section, go back through the OSINT section, make sure you've like checked all the things. And then 
you should be sweet. Like it's all there. You won't be able to miss anything. So make sure you do that. That helped me in my exam. I sat down at one point when I was stuck and I was like, okay, did I try that? Did I try that? Did I try that? Okay, cool. Move on to the next thing. Did I try this? Did I try that? Oh, I got something. That is the way to move forward in this thing. You got heaps of time. Seriously, relax, take breaks, check out the course again, and then you'll be able to move forward and get this thing. Now, do I recommend this course to beginners? Yeah, this is perfect. This is freaking awesome exam, freaking awesome course, and it's perfect for beginners. If you want to become a pen tester and you want to know what the job is like, do this. Do this course, do the exam. This is a perfect beginner cert. Now, that doesn't mean that it's easy. It isn't easy, but it's not hard either. It's a challenge. I don't know how to kind of explain that any better. It's challenging because it tests you on your methodology. It's not like it's doing anything tricky, but it's testing you on, are you thorough? Are you going to enumerate? Do you have a good methodology? Are you going to move forward like that? This course has been really well designed. The exam lab is super stable. It's amazing and it tests you on everything you've learned and it teaches you stuff as you're going through the exam because I know I learned a ton of stuff in there. If you've been thinking of doing this cert, uh, like seriously do it. I encourage you to do it. TCM is great. Their organization is amazing and their certification is awesome. I'm really glad I did it. I'm really glad I did it even though I did it a year later and I hadn't really looked back on the content that much. Um, I did do some review and all of that, but I got stuff out of it and I've been doing pen testing for a year now. Um, yeah, and so I'm really glad I did it. Let me know if you found this video helpful or if I missed anything in the comments below. And I will see you in the next one.